Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this High Wings gaming keyboard and mouse kit with RGB lighting. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. It says full spectrum RGB, up to 14 rainbow RGB backlight modes available, and customized with ease. Ergonomic design, non-slip ergonomics provide a fluid, comfortable experience for typing and gaming. Multimedia keys, the multimedia function can be switched by the FN, F1 to F12 multimedia keys, 25 keys anti-ghosting. So this helps with pressing multiple keys at a time. And here are some specs. Dimensions are 472 by 216 by 37 millimeters. Transmission is USB wired. Weight is 864 plus or minus 30 grams. Number of keys, 104 keys plus 10 multimedia keys. Working voltage is five volts. Keyboard lighting is RGB backlight. Package, 104 wired RGB keyboard. RGB mouse, applicable systems, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, 8, 10, iOS. Mouse lighting, RGB, mouse dip, that's supposed to be mouse DPI, is 800, 1200, 1600, or 2400. So let's get this opened up. So here we have the mouse. And here's the keyboard. So here's the user manual. So it has a thank you here, support, components. We have the keyboard mouse user manual. Installation steps, take out the keyboard and then insert the USB plug into the computer USB port. Restarting the computer, the system will automatically install the driver. Wait for the computer to prompt that the new hardware has been installed and can be used. Now you can use your keyboard. It is recommended to connect the motherboard USB 2.0 interface. I think that's saying not to connect it to USB 1, but I'm guessing you could connect this to USB 3.0. And here it does say the interface is USB 1.1, 2.0, or 3.0. So it has multimedia buttons for desktop, web, email, search, calculator, play, pause, previous track, next track, volume up, volume down, num lock indicator, caps lock indicator, and scroll lock indicator. And these are the instructions for the backlight adjustment. So I'll pause there if anyone needs to read through those and we'll test some of those out. And then there are shortcuts on the F keys. So you can type FN and then say function one for music play, FN function two for volume down. Of course you have the multimedia keys that do the same thing. And we went over the specs. Here are the mouse parameters. It's USB wired. It's 118 by 71 by 38 millimeters. RGB lights. Mouse micro switch is C, no, or NC. I'm not sure what that is. DPI is 800, 1200, 1600, or 2400. So this keyboard and mouse are wired. So I use wired and wireless keyboards and mice, and there are advantages and disadvantages to both. The disadvantage of wired is there's a wire sticking out of it. So if it's sitting statically on a desk, that may not be a big issue at all. If you're taking it places, that could be an issue, but that all depends on if that bothers you or not. The nice thing about it is you don't have battery to charge, very low latency. You don't have signal problems, you just plug it in and it works. Also, if you want to get into the BIOS of a computer, there's no problems doing that with a wired keyboard. And they're compatible with pretty much everything that can take a USB keyboard. So let's take a look at the mouse first. So we have a right and left button. Let me click these. So you can hear the click on them. And you have forward and back over here. There's a DPI button in the middle and a scroll wheel. And the scroll wheel will click. You can use that like a third mouse button. On the bottom, we have two pads at the top, one at the bottom. So that's what the mouse will glide on. And it's an optical mouse. And it has this little logo here. And that's pretty much it. So it's pretty lightweight. Cord is a braided cord. So you'll be moving this around a lot. That should make it more durable. Length on the mouse cord is a little over four feet. Now onto the keyboard, we have those multimedia buttons. So this is desktop, web, email, search, calculator, play pause, previous track, next track, volume up, volume down. And then you also have some multimedia buttons here, which look like they kind of do the same thing, but you would hit function to get those, and function is down here. So you'd hold down function and hit those. So you'll probably use the multimedia keys. So let's see if we can see the travel here of the keys. We have an inverted T for the cursors. Then you have home end, insert, delete, page up, page down. I like that, it has a numeric keypad. Let's turn it over. We have rubber pads here. Let's see, so there's just rubber pads in the front. On the back, it's plastic. And then we have feet that will lift up. So this slides around a little bit on here. There's not a tremendous amount of grip on those feet. So if you're someone who slides your keyboard around a lot, that may be an issue for you. That's not really an issue for me. Of course, you could always add some stickier rubber pads to that. Let's try it with this up. Check out the typing position. So it has a little bit of a wrist rest area. My wrist doesn't quite reach that. It might on some of the higher keys there. Okay, so I'm going to connect this into a computer and we'll check it out. So this will require a computer that has two USB-A ports on it. So most desktop computers, I'm guessing, would have these, especially a desktop PC. Usually those have loads of these ports. On a laptop, you could potentially need to get a little hub if you didn't have enough ports. So it's kind of hard to show both of these on the screen at the same time, but I have it connected up to a MacBook Pro. This is a 2015 MacBook Pro. It didn't say that this is compatible with Mac, but I'm sure it is because Macs can handle most PC keyboards, but it will test all the same. So I'm gonna test typing on this.
So it feels nice to type on, no problems there. I'm pretty sure this is a membrane keyboard and not a mechanical keyboard at the price point you're paying for this, but it types like you'd expect a nice membrane keyboard. So I want to check out some of the RGB functions here. I'll turn off my light. You can kind of see it here. Let me shut off the overhead lights. So if we hit function insert, it will turn the RGB mode on and we press again, it will do RGB breathe mode. So we have it on already. We'll hit it again. This is going to do breathe mode. So it's going in and out. So if we do function Dell, the lights will flash from left to right. And if we press it again, they will go right to left. Okay, so it's kind of fading across the keyboard. We'll do it again. Now we're going the opposite direction. So it's kind of hard to get this on camera, but it is a very nice effect when I'm seeing it in person. And you can see it on the camera. I just don't know if it's showing up as well as it is in real life. So if we do function home, it changes the color I think here. So let's try this. So we do function home. So that does red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, purple, and white. So that cycles through the colors. If we do function end, that does single color breathing mode. It says press more times to change the color. So it looks like it's cycling through the colors now. So if we do function page up, it says custom mode. Press again to start recording. It says the LED lights for the num caps and screen recording flash promptly. Use function 12345 to repeatedly cycle seven RGB color backlight through the five zone of keyboard. Function page up to save and exit. So function page down turns off the backlight. So let's try that. Okay, and then we can press it again to turn it back on. So we can do function up to turn up the backlight or function down to turn it down. So if you want to dim it, you can press that. We can do function left to slow down any like flashing and function right to speed it up. So to go back to the brightness, it says there's five levels of brightness and there's three levels of flash speed. The default is mid-range. So if you hit function W, the arrow keys become interchangeable with WASD. So here are the lights on the mouse. I didn't see anything in the instructions on changing these. But you can see they're changing color here. It's hard to see on camera, but it does cast a little bit on the desk. Not a tremendous amount, but you can see it. So there are a number of RGB modes with this. Now, if you just want a backlit keyboard, you could change the backlight to say white or red and not have any flashing or any modes on. Or if you want a little bit of flare, you can do one of the mode effects on there. So that's the High Wings RGB gaming keyboard and mouse. I think this is a good option if you're looking for a budget gaming keyboard and mouse. It's a standard keyboard design, but it has those multimedia buttons on there, which are handy. It's wired, so you don't have to worry about connecting it up. You just plug it in and go. It's a pretty basic mouse but I tend to like basic mice. It does have the forward and back buttons on the side there but aside from that it doesn't have much else. It does have the DPI button which is pretty common on mice so you can change your DPI there and it has a scroll wheel and the scroll wheel feels nice. It has rubber on it. You can hear the clicks on there. I know some people don't like to hear clicks on their mice so if that's an issue this mouse may not be for you but that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments. If you like this video please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate if you could do that and thanks for watching. Until next time goodbye.